So in this video, we'll be doing another tutorial on the high prolapse. This time, the waypoints. Now, I've never done a waypoints on DJI drones since I had a DJI Phantom Free Standard. So this is going to be a big learning curve for me. But hopefully for you guys as well, we'll be both learning as always. Um, what I, I've got no ND filter on this time. I've just got my normal UV filter on just to protect the camera. I'm gonna get the drone started up first. So I'm just waiting for the takeoff, the home point position to be fixed. And once that's done, we'll get everything set up. While that's all happening, just check your settings that you can see on your screen, guys, that the EV hasn't changed. Um, and everything you're happy with everything's looking good at the moment right so what we do first I'll just get on the uh, screen recorder so the screen recorders on I'm, I'm going to move that over there a minute right what we do is go into hyperlapse first and we scroll down to waypoints so it's got set your waypoints. This would be interesting. So this is going to be my first location, which will be there. Okay, and I'm going to fly on over here. It's got the um, and if we notice, it's got the camera rotation angle is good. So I'm going to stop it there. Okay, and if you notice, if you don't like it, you can... I'm just going to change location. Uh, I'm going to send it over that way. It's still got good rotation angle. So, if you notice, the one in two boxes there, I can, if I wanted to, is delete and set up a new waypoint if I wanted to. I'll do that one. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is change the angle slightly. It's still saying it's good. I'm gonna send it over that way. Okay. Right, it's saying it's too small. I'm not too sure what that means. Oh okay, that one's good. Yeah, right. Right, so I got uh, 11 seconds and 11 seconds, two, um, two second interval. I'm happy with that. So we press the. the, is heading to the first waypoint. So, it, and also, if you noticed, it tells you what it's doing. Now, I've had a few people when I did the first high prolapse. Um, does it do the interval? Guys, watch the video, but also watch. Um, what's going on on the screen because it is telling you everything it's doing it's setting itself up at the very first um waypoint position what what i've noticed with dgi um they let you go out and um set up the the mission as they call it now with litchi app i'm not to, you can't do obviously well you can sorry you can do a hyperlapse with the mini 2 with the litchi app and what i like about the litchi apps you can actually sit down in your home you can go on the computer you can set your route on the map save it load it back up whereas this one you literally got to i mean i, I must have used 15 percent of my battery just setting up the mission so that's another thing you've got to think about guys um i've got 275 frames to take it's going to be eight minutes up in the air so we should be all right i think i've got it says i've got 38 minutes there so i've got plenty of time really but obviously another thing you've got to remember guys when you're doing these sort of things is if it's i mean tonight there's no wind at all temperature here in spain at the moment still 34 would you believe uh and it's, there's no wind at all but if you had a bit of a wind 
that will put a little bit of extra, I would imagine, put a little bit more extra time on your flight. So you always got to be aware. But don't, don't also, also remember that the little red square on the right out, you can just stop that. It will stop the mission and it will come back. Obviously, you've got to return it back, but it will stop the mission uh, and just put it all together. Or you could just press the pause button to maybe reset it. And also, you can hit the return to home button, which is on the left. So, you've got a lot of options there. Uh, and I think DJI, over the years, have got so much... I mean, when I first did the waypoints back in 2016... No, sorry. 2015... Yeah, 2015, the, the, that was a bit complicated. Um, and you didn't have any reminders or anything coming up on the screen uh, other than you could lock a position. Um, and to be honest, I, I didn't, I didn't, I've never really enjoyed waypoints, but we'll see how this hyperlapse comes out. I'm, op I'm looking forward to this because um, I've been doing these hyperlapses for the past week and I've been going out and he, that's what we've got to keep, keep doing guys keep going out uh, the, the longer you the more you do it I think the better you become with it have a quick look I should have made a cup of tea shouldn't I <laughs> uh, it's going to be interesting how this works out because um, I when I used to do waypoints, the, the drone would just fly in a like a circle, really, or it would pick out certain point, points of interest, I suppose, um, and then it would come back. But this is this is going to be a hyperlapse, so it'd be interesting to see. So I, I think I can safely say this one ain't going to be much good. But I'm sure the more I, I try these, uh, the better they would become. And it's another reason about getting the fly mall kit because um those two extra batteries are going to help you so much 34 minutes you're going to get probably about 25 maybe 30 at the most now obviously here in spain or the eu as i should say uh we're not allowed the i think it's a 45 minute 43 minute longer battery we're not allowed to have that um, would, would I go, I'm not going to get one anyway, but no doubt some people will. <laughs> but to me, I'm quite happy. I've got my free batteries now. And to be quite honest, I went out the other day. I, I took out my Mavic Air with me as well. Uh, I, had, I had plenty of time. And, and that's what's all, I, I've got the time to do these sort of things. Well, I know a lot of other people haven't got the time. They've probably only got the weekend to go out and do these sort of things. And that, obviously the weather is another... Uh, important factor but for an old bloke like me <laughs> I can get out most days if the weather's nice and it usually is it's just a bit hot obviously during the daytime so we got <laughs> got another four minutes yet. anyway I'm going to, what I'm going to do I'm going to speed up the process so I got the last 30 seconds of flight uh, it just told me it's near near completion I've got 264 already 18 seconds left i'm just coming over the roundabout now sun's just starting to go down over the mountain range there so i, I got a bit of a glare on the screen there unfortunately that, that doesn't matter um yeah hopefully it's come out well it's just uh it's finished its completion now what i'm going to do now is creating the video as you can see on screen I'm going to bring it back, return to home. So hopefully that all went well. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated than that, but maybe it is. Maybe I've got to understand a little bit more about um, it was saying it was good and then it was saying it was too small. Uh, I'm going to have to look up a little bit more about that, see what that is. Maybe it's just because of the angle it's turning, or maybe it was just too sharp and we've got to do it slightly. It's all a learning curve, guys. 
And I think you can watch video after video, but at the end of the day, you've got to do it yourself, guys. Uh, and one good thing about the DJI drone, with the screen anyway, it's there all in front of you, and you're just following the instructions, really. Um, so anyway, I'll put up the video now, what it, what it looked like. Hopefully it was all right. Uh, I think, personally, I think I'm going to have to go quite a few more times yet until I get that to how I want it. But it's all about experimenting, guys. Now, I didn't use an ND filter, only because the, the sun is going down. It's getting dark now. So when I'm out again during the day, we'll, we'll put an ND filter on, on another video. But anyway, as always, hope you find them good. Um, I get quite a few people uh, saying they're enjoying them. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. If you've got any comments or any tips, I'm always most appreciated because we're all learning, guys. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next uh, drone video. <laughs>